So we're going to start with creating a whole new project. We choose Vision OS app, hit next. And since Xcode's preview has been a little bit buggy, we're going to get rid of this preview screen by hitting option, command, return. And then we'll give it a build by hitting command and B. Okay, it builds. Now we can start coding. Okay, before we actually make our own content, I would like to actually delete all these Xcode generated package contents. And let's go up to the app level and I would like to discuss how um, view presentation works in Vision OS app. As you can see, we have window group and immersive space. The difference between immersive space and group window is that, well, this immersive space takes up the entire space and uh, it, can, uh, it can only be opened one at a time. But window group, you can have multiple window groups open all at the same time. And you can bring in different window group by specifying the ID. And let's say I have some custom view called my view. And let's say from content view, I want to bring up my view one. I can just give it a button to bring up this uh this window group with the specified id and the same logic applies to my view 3 and my view 2 and this is how i'm going to present three different 3d models let's start by adding the assets i downloaded these three assets from apple's develop, uh, developer website i'm going to leave link in the description now that the asset has been added we can start writing our own file. Sweep to UI view. And then we're going to use something called model 3D. And uh, think of this one as some sort of like um, image view for your 3D asset. So model 3D has two different initializer. One takes in a URL. And we want to use this if you uh, if you have a URL for um, a remote asset that you want to like a download off of internet. But in this case, we already downloaded inside our application. We're just going to be uh, using this one. Then I want to load guitar, GTR here. And then in the closure, it will give us something called model face. Model face. And and what this model phase is that basically a loading state for this model. So we can uh, do a switch statement on this one, switch. And as you can see, this one has uh, three different cases. First one being empty and success and failure. And this empty, well, it's a little confusing but basically it can represent a loading state as well so i'm just going to give it a progress view with a control size of uh, extra large because it can be pretty hard to see and then in failure i'm just going to say text i'm just going to give it a text view of uh, fail and then the success case is where we get the um the 3d model and then we're gonna say uh, result model 3D that resizable and aspect ratio and then fit into uh, fit into the window that we give in. So okay, we made our model view and now we need a way to display this in our app space, right? And like I told you before, I think I'm going to just add in a button in the content view to display this model view. 
But before we jump into adding uh, adding a button in content view, we have to actually link this to the app level. So we're gonna go to uh, the, we're gonna go back to the app level, and I'm just gonna comment this out for the moment, and I'm gonna give it an ID of my model. Actually, let's just. Let's just make it safe. Let's just play safe. Struct. This way, if we misspell something like uh, something like this, we don't have to worry about it since it will be just using this window destination um, value. So instead of uh, instead of empty string, we can give it a window destination dot my model one, and then this one, this window group will be bringing my model view, like so. Okay, so we linked my model view to uh, to the app level, and we need a way to display this, right? And we're gonna go to content view to add button, and then. We're going to give more environment uh, variable here at environment. And then we're going to give it a button now. Button action self dot open window. And then we can give it an ID. And it will be the same as the one we linked up here. And then let's give it a run. Okay, as you can see, we have a button here. Now I'm gonna tap on it. Now, you just saw that big ass um, progress bar just like spinning around that represent uh, that represent the state of where is my oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, this uh, this empty state, basically meaning that like, uh, while it was looking for this asset right here, it's going to display this progress view or like whatever the view it, uh, it gives you. And once that changes, and it uh, if the case is a success, then we're gonna display this one right here. Obviously, uh, this one has been resized to fit the window here, like a nice and easy. And if for some reason, uh, it, it, uh, it was a failure, it will display this text right here. I'm just gonna just some give it a garbled up string and then let's see what happens. There you go. We, uh, we got a fail string. I'm not sure if you can see this correctly, but yes, fail. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm gonna revert this to revert this back to the correct string, and then let's make a sort of a duplicate for this view. And then I'm gonna just steal this one here and instead of this named initializer this time let's use url 3d url and then we want to grab apple developers um, assets url and then just fit it here and the URL is, well, this. And then the same thing apply, oh wait. And then the same principle applies. We can go to content view. We'll give it another button. Two, two. And going back to the app level, on commenting this my model view to 
and give it a uh, give it a similar ID here. Making sure this one corresponds to the one we added here. All right, everything looks good, and let's give it a run. Okay, now you can see there's another button here, and this will bring up the teapot USDZ file, I think, and this will make a uh, this, uh, this will make a URL call to Apple server and then download the asset from the uh, from the remote server. Okay, everything looks pretty good. And as you might have noticed, uh, the progress bar was not uh, persisting a little longer because I mean, obviously, like a downloading asset from the internet is gonna take a lot longer time than getting an asset from your local library. So that, uh, so that was um, expected. Okay, I'm being a little bit greedy here. I want to be able to open and close uh, the other windows from the uh, uh, from the either the teapot or the guitar view. And I'm gonna go back to my model view and then add some uh, something called ornaments on it. And it takes some uh, uh, it takes the uh, attachment anchor. Basically, it tells you like where you want this to be attached. I'm just gonna give it a scene of a what is it? Uh, top leading. Now that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna give it an H stack. H stack up two different buttons. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need this one. Oh, I actually just cheated a little bit and I added uh, these while you guys are not watching. So, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, open window, same thing. Window that's not, oh, gotta give it an ID. Window destination and I want the first view to be able to open the second one. And give it a label of text. And I want this button to be able to dismiss itself. And let's just give it a, I don't know, some glassy effect. And copy pasting all this to here as well. And we just gotta change out okay let's test that ornament out i'm gonna open this and then let's see if dismissing self works okay there we go and then let's give it uh let's try to open the second view okay awesome and i'm gonna dismiss itself second view uh i wonder what happens if i press this one. Ooh, so it just creates a whole different layers of <laughs> views that's uh that's actually interesting and if i hit this uh dismiss self it will um it will dismiss uh the entire uh, uh view what is it the second views and this will dismiss this current view and the view that's uh, right behind it the, uh, that's because that's because of this call right here dismiss window it fires off through the entire app and then look for the window group that matches the uh, uh, the ID and no matter how many uh, no, uh, no matter how many uh, window groups are open at the moment at, as long as it matches the ID uh, the system will just you know kill it okay so that was the basics of how vision app works and uh, 
well how vision app works with uh, the model 3d next time i'm gonna um I'm going to branch off of this and then start discussing this immersive view. And then we'll take a look at how this immersive view can take in a 3D asset or we can, or how we can load 3D assets using view models. That was it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.